Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn about basic concepts of artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? Before we answer that, let's look at these terms individually. What do you understand by the term artificial? That it can be anything that is made by humans and the things that are not natural and what do you understand by intelligence? It is the ability to understand, think and learn. If we combine these together, we get artificial intelligence. It is a broad area of computer science that makes machines seem like they have human intelligence. The goal of AI is to mimic the human brain and create systems that can function intelligently and independently. Now let's see different examples that we use AI in our day-to-day -day life. If you have used Google Home or Amazon Alexa to order food or browse Netflix movie suggestions, you are actually interacting with AI without realizing it. In the near future AI is expected to become a little less artificial and more intelligent. Another example is Google Assistant and Google Duplex. Google Duplex is a new project from Google that is currently live in the majority of the US. It allows certain users to make a restaurant reservation by phone. However, instead of the user speaking directly to the restaurant employee, Google Duplex, with the help of Google Assistant, speaks for the user. It does this with an AI-based, but human-sounding, voice. It's also being used to speed up paying for movie tickets online. Netflix also uses AI for better user experience. By analyzing and detecting patterns from data related to users' viewing habits, Netflix is able to use sophisticated algorithms to recommend the right content tailored to each of its users, resulting in an optimal brand experience. On the platform, 75% viewer activity is based on these suggestions. Another use of AI if YouTube. It uses AI in many ways. However, it uses most of its AI pursuing people's interests. It calculates your interest based on videos you watch, like, etc. and probably gives that king of videos on your home screen. In this modern world, smartphone, self-driving car, robot heavily relies on artificial intelligence. When talking about autonomous cars, it is almost impossible not to discuss artificial intelligence. AI is used to enable the cars to navigate through the traffic and handle complex situations. Also, with a combined AI software and other IoT sensors, such as cameras, it becomes easier to ensure proper and safe driving. Artificial intelligence, AI, and robotics are a powerful combination for automating tasks inside and outside of the factory setting. In recent years, AI has become an increasingly common presence in robotic solutions, introducing flexibility and learning capabilities in previously rigid applications. Nowadays, a number of AI-powered tools exist to deliver insights from your brand's social media content, profiles and audience. Measure brand and trends across social. AI-powered social media intelligence can help companies measure and improve brand equity, detect consumer trends, and understand target audiences. Now let's talk about history of AI. In 1950 Alan Turing published a paper in which he speculated about the possibility of creating machines that think. So, he created what is known as the Turing test. This test is basically used to determine whether or not a computer can think intelligently like a human being. He noted that thinking is difficult to refine. If a machine can carry out a conversation that was indistinguishable from a conversation with a human being, then it is reasonable to say that the machine is thinking and the machine will pass the test. But unfortunately, up to this date we haven't found a machine that has fully passed the Turing test. The year 1956 is probably the most important year in the field of AI, because in 1956 for the first time the term artificial intelligence was coined, and the term artificial intelligence was coined by John McCarthy at the Dartmouth conference in 1956. Coming to the 1959 the first AI laboratory was established at MIT, where research was performed in the field of AI, which is still running today. And in 1960 the first robot was introduced to the General Motor assembly line. In 1961 the first chatbot was invented. Though now we have Alexa, Siri, Google Assistant etc., but in 1961 that was a chatbot known as Eliza which was introduced. This is followed by the famous IBM Deep Blue in 1997. The news broke down that IBM's Deep Blue beat the world champion Garry Kasparov in the game of chess, so this was kind of the first accomplishment of AI it was able to beat the world champion at chess. So, in 2005 when the DARPA Grand Challenge was held of a robotic car named Stanley which was built by Stanford's racing team, won the DARPA Grand Challenge. That was another big accomplishment of AI. In 2011 IBM's question-answering system Watson defeated the two great Jeopardy! champions Brad Ratter and Ken Jennings. This is how AI evolved. 
We can see that it started off as a hypothetical situation, and right now it's the most important technology in today's world. If you look around everywhere, everything around us is run through AI, machine learning and deep learning. Artificial intelligence is the broader umbrella under which machine learning and deep learning come. You can see in the diagram, the deep learning is a subset of machine learning, and machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. AI covers domains such as machine learning, deep learning, neural network, natural language processing, knowledge base, expert systems and so on. Moreover, it covers computer vision and image processing. There are many reasons for raising demand of AI nowadays. The first reason is that we have more computational power now. Artificial intelligence requires a lot of computing power. Recently many advances have been made in the field of information technology, and complex deep learning models are deployed, and one of the greatest technologies that made this possible is the GPU. Since we have more computational power now it is possible for us to implement AI in our daily aspects. Second most important reason is that we have a lot of data at present. On daily basis we are generating enormous amount data through social media, IoT devices and in every possible way. So, we need to find out a method or solution that can help us process this data and help us derive useful information so that we can use them in various possible ways. This process is basically artificial intelligence. We have now very effective algorithms which are based on the idea of neural networks. Neural networks is nothing but the concept behind deep learning. Since we have better algorithms which can do better and quicker computation with more accuracy, the demand for AI has increased. Another reason is that universities, government startup, and tech giants are all investing in AI. Companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, all of these companies have heavily invested in artificial intelligence because they believe that AI is the future. There are different types of AI. It is divided into three different stages. First, we have artificial narrow intelligence followed by artificial general intelligence, and that is followed by artificial super intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence which is also known as weak AI, it involves applying artificial intelligence only to specific task. Many currently existing systems that claim to use artificial intelligence are actually operating as weak AI focused on a narrowly defined specific problem. One example of artificial narrow intelligence is Alexa. It is a very good example of weak AI that operates within unlimited predefined range of functions. There's no genuine intelligence or there is no self-awareness despite being a sophisticated example of weak AI. The Google search engine, Sophia the humanoid self-driving car, and even the famous AlphaGo fall under the category of weak AI. Right now, we are at this stage of artificial narrow intelligence. We haven't actually reached artificial general intelligence or artificial super intelligence. Now let's look at what exactly it would be like if you reach artificial general intelligence. Artificial general intelligence which is also known as strong AI. It involves machines that possess the ability to perform any intelligent task that human being can. This is actually something that a lot of people don't realize. Machines don't possess human-like abilities. They have a very strong processing unit that can perform high-level computations, but they're not yet capable of doing the simple and the most reasonable things that a human being can. If you tell a machine to process large document, it will probably do the task in a short while, but if you ask the machine to go and make some food which he likes, the machine will take forever to learn that because machines don't have the reasonable way of thinking. They have a very strong processing unit, but they are not yet capable of thinking and reasoning like a human being, so that's exactly why we are still stuck on artificial narrow intelligence. So far, we haven't developed any machines that can truly be called strong AI, even though there are examples of AlphaGo Zero which defeated AlphaGo in the game of Go. AlphaGo Zero basically learned in a span of four months on its own without any human intervention, but even then, it was not classified as a fully strong artificial intelligence, because it cannot reason like a human being. Moving on to artificial super intelligence. Now this is a term referring to the time when the capabilities of computer will surpass that of a human being. In all actuality it will take a while to achieve artificial super intelligence. Presently it is seen as a hypothetical situation as depicted in movies and any science fiction books. These are the different types of different stages of artificial intelligence. To summarize everything, narrow intelligence is the only thing that exists for now. We have only weak AI, and all the major AI technology is that you see our artificial narrow intelligence. We don't have any machines which are capable of thinking like human beings. So, this is all about basics of artificial intelligence. Thank you for watching.
Stay tuned for more advanced and elaborative videos on artificial intelligence.